Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'll be making beautiful gold and white DIYs, starting off with this canvas. Since I already had this canvas on hand, I'm just going to go on ahead and use it, but you can use a canvas from Dollar Tree. I'm layering my canvas with a few coats of this premium white acrylic paint that I purchased from Dollar Tree. This is not the best paint to use to cover this canvas, but I'm basically using this as a base because I'm going to use my other acrylic paint to go over it. This paint looks like it's some great coverage, but once it dries, you'll be able to see right through it. I did already add one layer of my other acrylic paint and as y'all can see, it doesn't look too good, but I'll fix that in a second. I don't know if y'all can see or not, but those lines that's on my canvas came directly from me pouring the paint onto my canvas. So that's why I was pouring it directly on my foam brush to prevent that from happening again. This paint is a much better coverage, but I'm just going to wait and see when it fully dries. Even though my second choice of acrylic paint is some good coverage, but I don't like all the cracking and everything. So I'm going to go over it with my Blossom White spray paint that I purchased from Home Depot. So far so good and I'll add more coats if needed. I'm making a matching vase to my canvas and all I'm doing is spray painting only the inside. My canvas looks so much better and the satin spray paint was the perfect cover up for this. I'm using these chalkboard stickers and these dot label stickers to decorate my canvas and also my vase. I'm basically placing the stickers anywhere and I'm rubbing them in firmly so that way when I get ready to spray paint my canvas, I can prevent as much leakage as possible. For those of you out there wanting black and white decor, this piece is perfect as is. It was quick and easy and it's also beautiful. Now let's continue. I'm repeating the same exact steps for my vase and if you are going to recreate this then I suggest you place the bigger stickers towards the middle and the bottom because as I was placing it towards the top it was hard to flatten it out which the smaller stickers was a lot easier flattening out. I'm loving my canvas and vase as is, but I'm going over it with my gold metallic spray paint. I try my hardest to spray paint with a light hand to prevent the spray paint from giving off that dripping look, but for my vase, it just wasn't working out, but I'll fix that a little later on in the video. I let my canvas dry for a couple hours and I'm using this X-Acto knife to help me peel the stickers off. And as y'all can see, I am really taking my time with this X-Acto knife because I do not want to scratch up my spray paint. I'm very surprised at how very little leakage it is on my canvas, but I know there's leakage on my vase. I chuckled a little bit y'all because this spray paint was just dripping all down my vase and I'm like oh no I didn't mess it up but y'all about to see what I did to fix that. 
The circles aren't that bad, but you can see all the dripping on the gold part, but I'll fix that a little later on in the video. But for now, I'm going to get started on the circles and I'm going to clean those up with my acetone and some Q-tips. I'm cleaning up as much leakage as I can and then I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm scraping off any leftover spray paint. Also, using this X-Acto knife will help me carve out the circle that I want. Then I go back in one more time with my Q-tip and my acetone, cleaning up any leftover residue. This looks so much better and I'm going to repeat the same steps for the other ones. I'm creating a mixture with this Mod Podge and gold glitter that I purchased from Dollar Tree and this will help cover up the dripping marks from the spray paint. I'm using that same acrylic paint to go over just a couple circles. I'm decorating with these small glass mirror tiles, which I'm only decorating a couple circles. These mirror tiles are self-adhesive, but I'm using a little glue so they can stick better. You should have something that looks like this and now I'm going to work on the bigger circle but for this circle I will only be gluing the mirror tiles around about half way. For this last step I'm using a few of these circle mirror tiles that I purchased from Amazon to finish decorating. I enjoyed creating this beautiful wall decor piece and I love how it turned out, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I should have used the silver glitter instead of the gold since the gold glitter does not match with my gold spray paint, but that's okay. I'm going to make it work. I spray painted this candle holder off camera and all I'm going to do is glue it to the bottom of my vase. You should use a stronger adhesive if you want your projects to last over time. I'm basically repeating the same exact steps as I did for my canvas. I think no glitter would have been the better choice, but adding the mirror tiles definitely made it look much better. But tell me what you think. Please like and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.